the inverse cosine of the cosine of 15 pi over 8. Um, first off, we've got our cosine here. So you, this, without a calculator, it's really hard to determine this exactly. But we do know that 14 pi over 7 is equal to 2 pi. Um, oops. So that means this is one circle or one one rotation around plus seven pi. So okay, so let me just do this. So that means we're going to be focused on this here. So that that means that uh, this inside here, whatever we get, so we're going to go um, one full rotation around, and then we'll go to pi over seven. I don't know exactly what that is, but uh, somewhere around there, roughly. And what's going to happen now is whatever we got in there, we've got the inverse of that result. So what we're going to need here is uh, the cosine negative 1 of, well, I should really put a decimal point in there. I don't know what that is. Um, so whatever value we have in here, or, uh, oops. So I can rewrite this as this, cosine of x is equal to whatever, oh, um, well, I'll just write pi over 7. So even though that doesn't really work, uh, I'll just make something up. Um, uh, 3, 1, even though that's probably not right <laughs> at all. Okay, the only reason I bring that up, though, is because the cosine of x, whatever we had in there, it's going to be that, uh, except it's not going to be 15 pi over 7. It has to be between 0 and pi, because those are the bounds on the inverse cosine. So in this case, it's just simply going to be pi over 7 again. So the solution here um, is just pi over 7, which is a coterminal angle. That's it.